Hey, welcome to the Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at all the prices for the new products revealed in yesterday's Warhammer pre order preview. It was pretty cool to see this new Agastus box set being revealed the Strike Force for the Space Marines. You're going to get this new Brutalis Dreadnought in there, the Desolation Squad Space Marines, some heavy intercessors, and a new Lieutenant as well, with loads of options and weapon upgrades. On top of that, the boarding patrols seem to be rolling out now. We've got the Chaos Space Marines and the Tyranids coming, and it looks like they may be doing perhaps two a week, but we'll have to wait and see and see how many they put out next week in the pre-order preview. There's not an awful lot of products in this week's pre-order, so it won't take long to go through the prices, but a great comment from Baz on the video yesterday, he suggested that maybe they're not putting many products up to counter the problems they're having with distribution from their warehouses out to the friendly local game stores. So that's a really good point. So I think he's onto something there. Now, although this is going to be pretty bad news where the prices are concerned, before we go on and have a look at that, there is some good news. The tabletop skirmish hobby is not all doom and gloom, and you may have heard of a book called Weekend Warriors. This is a book I published a little while ago, and it's the ultimate tabletop skirmish game to play with your kids. The great news for this, you don't need to buy any models. You can use everything you've got at home from your existing Warhammer models, Infinity, you can use Lego. You can even cut out little pieces of paper, draw your figures on there, and play on a paper table map. You can also bring out all your favourite terrain, mix up the different scales and play with your favourite toys as well. So if you're looking for something different and looking to use the models you've got to play some fun skirmish games, then check out my book Weekend Warriors. It's a really cool system, some unique things in there that will make the gameplay and design of your characters really fun. And if you'd like to add this to your collection and find out more, there's a link in the description down below. OK, let's get back to these prices then. So in the UK, the Agasta Strike Force is priced at £120. This is a little bit less than the Battle Force box sets we saw just after Christmas. But if you compare this to those boxes, there are fewer models here, or at least fewer big models. So where some of those might have had maybe two Dreadnoughts, for example, in here you're only getting one and the same amount of kind of troops. So it's certainly less in here than there is in some of those Battle Forces but you're paying a little bit less in price. So mm, I'm not sure if this is a good deal or not, but it's the best way to get these models as soon as you can if you want to add the new ones to your collection. For Europe, you'll be paying 155 euros. In the US, it's going to be $200. Australia, $335. Then in New Zealand, it will be $400. And as we go over to Canada, that's $240. And finally, Japan, 28.5 thousand yen. The UK and the EU prices you see here are confirmed. And then for the other countries, I've used the same price for the Cadia Stands box set, which was 120 in the UK and 155 euros. And then I've used the prices that they sold for in those other countries. So they might change a little bit, but I think it's safe to say it's going to be around these figures. Now let's have a look at the boarding patrol and this is where it gets bad. They put the price right up to £75. We saw with the Space Marine boarding patrol box set at 65 Now that's gone up by £10. The prices are going up in March. We know that from Games Workshop themselves when they published the article. But they did say on average it's 6%. But for this boarding patrol, that's a 15% increase. So although the average is 6%, some models and some units are going to get stung like here with this boarding patrol, while others maybe are going to be less than 6%. And of course, the starter sets are going to be staying the same. But this is a big, big, big price increase. Considering we've only just seen one of these released, they were probably better off waiting to release that Space Marine one, or at least doing it for £75 so that this wouldn't feel so bad. But going from 65 to 75 doesn't feel cool at all. In the EU, you'll be paying 100 euros. In the US, that's going to come out at $125. For Australia, $190. In New Zealand, that'll be $230. Then in Canada, $150. And in Japan, 16.4 thousand yen. The second box set is going to be for the Tyranids and of course the prices are exactly the same, £75 and then all the different currencies as you see here. 
I did the same when working out the prices for the Boarding Patrol. UK and EU are confirmed right now. And then the other prices, I use Croak, Lord Croak, because he's 75 pound in the UK and he's also 100 euros. And then I took the prices from the Games Workshop website for the other countries for him. And then we should be looking at paying those prices for this Boarding Patrol too. All up, we've seen nine of the Boarding Patrols previewed. Now three have been released. We've still got the Grey Knights and the Necrons to come from these and all four of these sets waiting as well. So there's quite a lot in the pipeline and also some more factions to cover. So maybe today they'll be releasing some more previews for some of the other patrol boxes, but at least now we know exactly how much they're going to be so we can prepare for it should we wish to add them to our collection. With the combat patrols going up now to £95 in the UK and then all the other prices you see here for the rest of the world, they certainly are getting some big increases, but I think these boarding patrols have been stung the worst with that £10 increase. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. For me personally, this is definitely a time to start catching up with all that pile of shame we've got to get painted. I'm sure we've all got models we can work on. I'm also focusing more on match play lately as we've got a tournament at my local game club. So I'm going to be focusing on trying to learn the ins and outs of my Space Wolves and putting together fun lists to play them and making the most of what I've got before I go out and just buy more models, especially at these increases. I've certainly got to be a little bit more selective now about what I buy. And I'm still waiting for Soul Shackle, so that hasn't arrived from Games Workshop to the local retailers because of the Games Workshop warehouse issues. But hopefully that'll be here this week. I hope you've got a fun week of gaming ahead of you this week. And today I'm going to be working on a great perk for my Patreons. I did a recent narrative battle with a friend of mine, Liam. So thanks so much to Liam for helping me out where he brought along his Tyranids to take on my Catachans in a fun narrative mission. It was a wave mission to see how long the Catachans could hold out against waves of increasing hordes of Tyranids and it was awesome fun. And so I'll be putting that into a free mission for my Patreons to play. So if you're interested in something like that, then check out my Patreon. There's a link for that down below and you can join in the fun too. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you found it informative and now at least you know how much these are going to be when they're available to pre-order this coming Saturday. So thanks again. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one and don't forget to hit that notification bell too so I can look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me keep going with these daily videos. I hope you're looking forward to seeing that narrative battle mission that you can play later on today so look out for that coming to the patreon page i really appreciate your support for the channel right from the beginning and it's awesome to bring you cool perks throughout the month and later on towards the end of the month there's a really cool perk coming thanks to robert one of the patreons on the channel so look out for that coming soon too Hey, are you still here watching the video? If you are, let me know in the comment section below. It'd be interesting to see who makes it this far in the video. But don't forget, Weekend Warriors is available if you want to try out something new. You'll be supporting the channel, helping me out, and you'll have something really fun to play. Not just for kids, this is great for anyone new to the skirmish game hobby. So the link is down below if you'd like to check it out and find out more about Weekend Warriors, the ultimate tabletop skirmish game to play with your kids.